Hi everyone, in this video I will show you different ways to estimate the fundamental period or fundamental frequency or sometimes we call it natural frequency of the soil. Uh, so in this video there are three different ways. I'm just going to focus on the first two methods and the publication by Bray 2007 which the title of the paper is called Simplified Seismic Slope Displacement Procedure. In this paper there is um, uh, an easy way to estimate uh, fast is, uh, to estimate the fundamental frequency. Also in the Kramer 1996 book, uh, the title of the book Geotechnical Earthquake Engineering, also there is an equation there you can use it to estimate the, the fundamental period or frequency. If you want or if you are interested in 1D analysis using deep soil, you can also estimate the fundamental period or you can use 2D analysis using RS2 software which is finite element method for to to do deformation analysis you can also after you define the geometry of the model that you have you can just click on estimate fundamental frequency and the software is going to give you um, a range of that so you can use it in your analysis in this video i'm just gonna focus on the first two methods and then after that i will give an example with numbers for the Bray 2007 publication, he provided three different ways. So it's based on the slide uh, slip surface. So in this case, in the first case, which is A, A we can just basically use um, uh, the fundamental frequency is going to be equal to 4H divided by Vs. H is the height of, this, of, the, of the mass that is sliding along this slip surface, or the earth fill in this case. And Vs is the... Uh, the shear wave velocity okay in the second case we have a dam and the slip surface looks like triangle in this case we uh, Bray 2007 suggested to use 2.6 times h which is from the crest to the estimated slip surface bottom here divided by the shear wave velocity of the material and then the third option is if you have um, slip surface looks like a circular slip surface or something like this you can just estimate it using 4h divided by vs. h in this case is going to be equal to the distance between this side to this side from the crest to the to to this edge here of the of this slope. Okay. For Kramer 1996 or 1997, we can use this equation, which is uh, using uh, time in, in terms of um, the fundamental frequency equal 2n minus 1 multiply with the average shear wave velocity of different layer in case if you have different layers divide by 4h so vs we can estimate it using this equation h is the thickness of each layer if you have different layers uh, vs the shear wave velocity as, as i said before uh, uh, fn natural frequency n is the mode number and then uh, h is the depth of the soil column Okay, let's take a look on this example here. I have, uh, let's say, a dam with two different material, two different shear wave velocity, and two different height. Let's, I'm using here a Bray method. So in this equation here, I'm using 2.6, which is this equation here. So it's going to be 2.6 uh, times the summation of the height for these two material, and then divide by the shear wave velocity. Okay. And we got here uh, 0.3. This is the period. If we divide the period, so if we said 1 divided by a period, we can get the fundamental frequency, as you can see here. So the fundamental frequency is 2.9. In this cell here, I'm using this equation for h divided by vs. So h in this case is the total height, and, and, uh, and vs is the shear wave velocity or the average shear wave velocity which is in this case 1703. Make sure the all the units are consistent. So here I'm using height and feet and the shear wave velocity is uh, distance divided by uh, time. So I got in this using this equation, we got um, 2.9, uh, uh, sorry, we, we, in the, using this equation for H divided by four, Vs, we got 0.5 for a period. If we, flip it, 1 divided by that period, we get the frequency, and I got 1.9 using this equation, and I got 0.2.9 using uh, this equation.
okay for Kramer equation so I'm defining just uh, mod number one to five I'm using the first mode number one here so it's gonna be two times the node number minus one multiplied with the shear wave velocity divided by four uh, times the total height okay so I got 1.9 frequency comparing to 2.9 if I use the second mode or here I'm just uh, multiplying with five um, so which is actually the second frequency it's recommending to multiply the, f the first frequency by five to get the second mode of the frequency and in this case I got uh, 9.5 so we see that we get a different value, but you see using um, um, uh, the the method, which is the second method, which is uh, 4h divided by vs, we obtain similar, which is basically the same 1.9, 1.9 between Prey and Kramer. So that's the fundamental frequency. As I mentioned, we can also use uh, software to do 1D analysis. You can use deep soil or you can use RS2 and then estimate the fundamental frequency in 2D. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video and um, I hope I provide some value. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.